So some of you might have seen my previous Fruity Granalyzer tutorial where I showed you guys how to make synth bases in 808s with it, but that's definitely not the main use that I would use this for. It's a great way to make risers and transition effects with. Basically it uses granular synthesis to do so, and by automating these knobs you could get a really cool effect. But something that they've just added recently is this sampler window, and I think this is Honestly, the main reason why people have forgotten or didn't even realize what Fruity Granalyzer was. Without the sampler window, all you had was just this screen right here, and it doesn't make any sound. So people didn't even know that you're supposed to load a sample into it in order to use it. So just real quick, in terms of making synth bases with it, let me just load a kick in here, turn this loop option on, and you can hear that it's looping. Set this wave spacing to the middle here. Now you have this consistent loop and then you could change the grain spacing with this knob right here, which will change how fast this is looping. And there you go, you have a nice little synth bass. And I'm just hitting one key. I'm just hitting one note over and over again. And you're getting all kinds of different tones and textures. But if you switch to a different note, you get even more. All those are different tones and textures that you could be using to create your own synth based samples. And then you could also use that to create 808s out of that as well. But that's not what this tutorial is about. I really just wanted to point out these transitions that you can make out of it. So let's load up a hi-hat and we're gonna do the same thing. But this time we're gonna manipulate this knob right here. So I'm gonna right click, create automation clip, and we're just gonna ramp this up in the piano roll. And let's go ahead and place a note. I said piano roll, but I meant uh, playlist. But now let's go into the piano roll of our Fruity Granalyzer, let's extend this out for four bars, and now let's take a listen. And let's reverse that. And let's combine that with some reverb. So I'm just gonna put some reverb on the master channel, Fruity Reverb 2. And I'm going to create an automation clip for this. Let's do the same thing. Let's switch out that sample with some percussion. I'm going to actually, I'm going to load up a random effect from my in-flight music drum kit. And here's what it sounds like now. Another thing that people like to automate is the pitch. So let's switch this over to 12, right click, create an automation clip. Let's go ahead and reverse this and take a listen. And for good measure, I'm gonna combine this with the technique that I showed in my last tutorial. So once again, we're gonna create an automation clip, but with this hold, Click the automation icon on the top left of your automation clip. Go to articulator tools, create step sequence. Ah, it actually saved the last sequence that I made in my last tutorial. But yeah, let's just use this for now. Hit accept and let's take a listen. So yeah, fruity granalyzer. So according to YouTube, the next video you should watch is here on your left. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out the video on your right as well. I make new videos every week, so remember to turn on notifications so that you are notified every time I drop a new video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.